Hey guys, I figured it's another time for some one-on-one -on -one time, um, just to give you an update on uh, what's on the bench, as well as uh, some other stuff about uh, wargaming and stuff on the channel and stuff like that. And I've been uh, keeping really busy with work, so I've been really busy with that, and um, busy trying to get that Dark Sword store up, so I'm almost done, as well as been tinkering with the WG Consumer site I've been working on. I it's just it's hard to do it when you're just a one-man show trying to get all the stuff done. Uh, but all that stuff is really close uh, to being done or at least being launched to just play around with or whatever. At least our store will be up soon too and uh, we're going to run some pretty neat sales and uh, promos and stuff like that. So watch out for that as well. Now a few of you have been uh, messaging me about the uh, recommendation for airbrushes and I always recommend the Chrome from uh, that. That's my workhorse airbrush now. Um, that and a couple of the airbrush I switch it between. Um, now, some of you guys go to that website where you can only get the Chrome currently, and uh, they're all they're out of stock. It seems. Um, but I know a couple of you guys notified me and said, "Oh, they're out of stock. We're going to find them now." Um, I uh, asked the president of uh, Badger Ken uh, about about the Chrome, and they said after the summer the first that they're going to release it uh, in a more uh, wide distribution area, as well as releasing more. So hopefully after the first, it'd be easier for you guys to find you know the Chrome. As well, also if you're looking to buy uh, Badger stuff, airbrushes, or uh, you know, the Freak Flex paints, okay, or stuff like that, uh, PM me. I'll give you a coupon code and a site to go to where. Uh, you can get up to 40% off. Now, I don't know what exactly 40% off uh, pertains to, but you know, you can go in and add to the card and try the code and then see uh, how much you, you know, get a good good discount you can get off of it. So, uh, if you're planning to get the Chrome, uh, should be out after the first and, uh, you know, use that coupon code. Just PM me and I'll give you the coupon code and tell you where to buy it, which side to, to buy it when they have it. Uh, and then you get a pretty good discount on it. I had a couple of requests of uh, you know doing painting tutorials on uh, you know fi figured like uh, you know, Grey Hunter uh, got another one for uh, Grey Knights. Um, now here's the thing: I don't usually do those type of uh, tutorials, but I will because you know when you guys request it, it just takes time to do. But mainly because you know Wes, that awesome paint job, is already doing it. Girl painting is already doing it, and they cover pretty much a lot of basis of. The armies out there so far so you know if you don't see it here check out awesome paint job or check out girl painting uh and uh they sh between those two guys and me and a uh, bunch of the other legion members you know there's bound to be a tutorial on them um check on the description i'll link you on all the legion website now if uh, any of you guys are in the san fernando valley socal california uh shoot me a pm be nice to know that you guys are around and you guys uh I want to play. I play at Game Ogre and uh, sometimes Thousand Oaks uh, Games Workshop. And uh, we can meet up there anytime. We can come down on Saturday and Sunday. That's usually when we all play uh, Warhammer. We do it Saturday and Sundays uh, most of the time. And uh, I'll meet you there. As well, we're going to be running some tournaments as well. I will, I will be running some tournaments with some of the guys uh, over at Game Ogre. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, Come check us out if you're in the area. On my Space Wolf Army, I got it about enough to feel maybe 3,000, 3,500, maybe 4,000 once I'm done getting what I want to get for it. And it's pretty much almost done. I'm just finishing up basically with, with the army itself. Um, I still need to get uh, at least a cavalry, at least a unit of uh, Thunderwolf Cavalry because I want to try running them. I'm currently working on Canis Wolfborn. Um, and uh, that's come along really well. That's why I want to get maybe two more uh, Razorback slash Rhinos, and I call it Razorback slash Rhinos because I magnetize them to be able to switch between the two types of tanks. And uh, one more Land Speeder, and I believe I might make another unit of uh, Grey Hunters just to make sure I have enough to uh, fill out the uh, army itself. So, I don't really use any of the the Blood Claws or the Sky Claws or uh, the Bikers. I just I don't see the. I I just so so stuck on gray hunters right now. They're just you know great all around troop toys. Especially you stick a wolf in there. Everyone over at the game shop is just afraid of my wolf ends. You know they're just crazy the number of attacks they get. Um, yeah, I'll do a lot more um, tactics as well. We we'll go through the space wolf you know uh, units and talk about tactics as well. Uh, since I'm being, I'm playing a lot more. I'm understanding a lot more of it. So that's it on the space wolf set. I'll give you a lot more update on its own video uh, later on. Uh, super thanks to a few guys or players out there. Uh, a few months ago, I was uh, telling 
uh, you guys are gonna start an orc army, and you guys uh, chimed in and helped me out figure out the list and what I need to buy and stuff. So uh, take a look at what I currently collected. I'm gonna make a green tide armor first, then move into a mech uh, army, and then into the cannon wall army. This mob of plastic here, this is all my orcs. Uh, this is about 2,000 points worth, maybe 2,500 points worth. Uh, currently sit on the table, maybe even more um, if I really stretch it. But uh, this is basically the basic green tide army uh, that I'm uh, going to field to, up to 2,000, 2,500. We got uh, nine death copters here, uh, unit of grots, uh, run herder. Uh, this is used to shield my um, uh, Luda boys. Not Luda boys, yeah, the uh, Luda boys. And I got nine of them here, and another knob. Where is he? I don't know. With a big shooter, I don't know if I'll ever use him, but whatever. Or big mega blaster. That's what it is. Um, then we got some boys with uh, rocket launchers and uh, big shooters, and there to fill out the uh, troop choices here, which are currently 30 shooter boys, 34 shooter boys here, and those are probably going to grow. Uh, three units of 30 slugger boys. And each one of them are led by a knob with a power fist. Sorry, power claw and a boss bowl. I got truck there, but uh, I'm not going to use it in the green tide list. Um, that is just part of what was left over from the battalion, which is going to be part of the mech list and the speed freak uh, list. Um, got the war boss there, and I got a weird boy there. Um, I got a unit of um, killer cans, and these are. Either going to be the heavy weapons backup, or the orcs don't really have a heavy weapon backup, honestly. But that's going to be the you know um, heavy weapons for the, with the rocket launchers. They all have rocket launchers on. You, you use those or use the death copters. But I'm going to be using those a lot more uh, than the death copters. Death copters kind of the, the backup units that I need to fill out if we're going to play a bigger point army. Uh, got a bunch of knobs here and about I don't know 12 of them. Um, all, um, like half with uh, power claws and uh, half with just uh, close combat weapons. And I did convert one of them into a pain boy. See here. And um, basically use green stuff to give him a, you know, a mask. Gave him a little scope there on his head there. Just kind of just scratch built it. Uh, gave him a big old needle. And uh, that this part here is from one of the heavy weapons. I don't remember which one it was. Uh, this is the tip of a or part of a lance from the Bretonians, from my Bretonians, gave uh, the, him a little weird looking um, hand weapon here, and that's really just the tip of uh, the Runt Herders, the one of the alternate tips of the Runt Herders uh, staff there. So that is pretty much the uh, Green Tide, the start of the Orc Army, of my Orc Army. Now what I'm going to do is go in and get maybe two more battalions, so I'll have two more trucks. I have uh, three bikes right now that I'm going to convert into uh, bike knobbers, and then with two more battalions, I'm going to be able to field up to nine um, uh, knob, uh, knob, knob bike war bikers, uh, as long as well as adding two more trucks to the list here. A uh, bunch of more, you know, boys either doing them slugger or shooters. I'll probably do another unit of shooters, uh, shooters, just just to fill it all out. And then um, I'm going to get a battle wagon. One or two, maybe. Yeah, two battle wagons. And then two more units of uh, tequila cans. And that should be enough to make a green tide army, uh, a speed freak army, and a uh, wall of cans. Oh, of course, I'm going to have to get uh, two, two mechs with uh, a custom uh, force field. Uh, I'll go ahead and uh, maybe convert one of them and then buy the other one. And uh, I think that would be, what, more than enough uh, for my orc armies. And the uh, third uh, 40 Kiyomi that I'm kind of starting on, I'm really, I'm just really toying with. Uh, I got in a train with one of the guys over at the shop, whatever he had of this chaos, uh, with some of my, uh, I think it was uh, Sky Claws. I made him a bunch of Sky Claws, but shaved it all the Wolf Icon stuff away to make it more of a uh, Blood Angels, uh, you know, Assault Marines. He uh, wanted to start a Blood Angels. Um, but anyways, he traded me, me his chaos. There's a rhino in here, but I'm gonna probably this is all messed up. And he's had really glued, stuff really glued up here, really gucked up. So what I'm going to do probably is either clean this up, which would probably make a really new cool new video, I think, or make this into a Luda wagon for the uh, or. But I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be using the Luda wagons. That seems so like unpredictable half the time. 
Uh, but if you guys out there play or play or use the Luda Wagon, let me know what you think about the Luda Wagon. Um, anyways, um, Chaos, yeah, I'm playing with it, and I'm trying to convert these into Plague Marines, basically, regular Marines, Plague Marines, uh, using uh, Magic Sculpt, or, and, and or green stuff, depends on, you know, what I'm trying to do here. Uh, but here you go, I uh, see him do pustules out of his, you know, shoulder pads, and other parts of his armor. And back here, it's coming out of his backpack with tentacles wrapped around him. Uh, that I'm making a Nurgle army, basically a Nurgle theme army. Now, colored is coming out something like this. Now, again, I will do their own videos. You know, each time I'll do their own videos, and I'll give you an update on how I do some of the stuff. Uh, I probably can't really see it right now because the focus takes forever. There we go. And uh, basically, they turn out something like that. It'd be Plague Marines or just, you know, Nurgleized uh, Chaos Marines. Uh, as well, there's like about two and a half units of um, regular Space Marines. Now, the unit is Corn, Marine, uh, Corn Berserkers. I'm not going to be using Corn Berserkers. I really want to do this whole Mono God thing, you know, with the whole Nurgle thing. I'm really not up to the whole undivided, you know, mixed them all up. I think they really messed that up with Chaos when they did that. Um, but, uh, yeah, shave off the horns here. Off of these corn berserkers, and they could be just regular, you know, chaos marines, or you know, convert them into plague marines. Actually, the helmets and stuff look pretty good for that. I got about a unit of uh, two units of uh, possessed, two units of five possessed. Uh, Havoc squad, okay. Um, uh, corn rider, bloodthirster, or whatever you guys call them. It's all metal, and I don't really like the way it's painted. I could try to salvage this, but it's one of those things where I don't want to do it unless it's a really rainy day. Uh, we're the really ugly dreadnoughts. Chaos dreadnoughts are really shitty. And then uh, we got raptors. I think I believe these are raptors. Uh, I squatted them. And then I got a uh, space marine or uh, chaos space marine uh, lord. It looks like. So, you know, we've got enough to probably field 1500 if I'm lucky. Actually, 1500, maybe a little bit more because I got Demon Prince here that I want to be converting it to you know, a Nurgle Prince. I know they have the Nurgle Demon Prince, but I actually like the way, the way this looks here. Instead of the blobby fat guy, I know they're supposed to be blobby fat guy. But, um, be something fun to do. Okay. I got a Defiler here. Now these are deals I picked up in uh, eBay, so couldn't uh, let them pass up. Plus to bolsterize my, uh, you know, Chaos Army at the start of it, at least. The Chaos Army I'm just gonna dig around with a little until you know, most of the Orc Army is done, and then I'll go full speed on this and then move it into the next army. Now probably I will be doing a Great Knights Army too. Uh, that one's actually kind of easy, you know. I'm just gonna get like seven boxes of. Uh, Grey Knights, uh, two box Terminators, I already have a Land Raider, which I'll be, you know, I have an extra one, which I'll be using for the Grey Knights, and then, uh, four Razorback Flash, uh, Rhinos, maybe six, uh, that'd give me a good, uh, a good start of, uh, you know, uh, Grey Knight Army, I'm not sure I'm gonna use a, uh, Blood Raven, or Storm Raven, sorry, um, and then maybe a Vindicator, couple of indicators just for some heavy weapon support. Uh, but yeah, I might or might not do the Great Knights yet. I'm not sure. I might do it on a whip. But right now, my um, my budget for this month's uh, wargaming budget is already used up. On the uh, fantasy side, I got... I bolstered my uh, Bretonians with two more knights, uh, boxes of knights. Uh, that's about it. I don't think I have it here. It might be in the car. Uh, my apologies. Uh, but there's really not much to show there. Now, um, what's getting really frustrated with Bretonians, but then, you know, been asking some advice around and uh, also been asking someone on YouTube, but once bit, check out his channel. Um, if you're into uh, Bretonians or uh, Beastmen, I believe, place. Yeah, Beastmen. Um, he does great battle reports for them, so uh, be sure to check him out. Uh, he really knows, seems to know what he's talking about. I'll, um, but, um, yeah, I got a little frustrated then I started just collecting Skavens right at the beginning when I decided to, you know, just try to get 
used to Bretonians, and uh, basically Bretonians is you just keep playing them until you get used to them, until you know how to use them, because they're kind of wonky, you know, in that way. But uh, damage been done. I got tons of Skaven, so that's going to be my secondary uh, fantasy. I'm about half high those high elves. I was sitting on the desk here, uh, but I decided I got really sick of them because uh, you know I play against them or played with them. And they're cool and all, and I played them online at the, the Universal Battle thing um, with uh, oh, damn, why did I forget his YouTube name? I was playing with someone uh, on YouTube with uh, you know Fantasy on, online and I'm playing the High Elves there, and I kind of got burned out about them. But this game looks fun. I really like the whole thing about the pestilence stuff. So here, in here, this box here. I, I just piled them all because I'm really running out of room of putting all this. Um, there's about 80 uh, clan rats slash slaves in here, uh, two ogre, rat ogres, uh, the herder, uh, and then the uh, warlock. From, these are from uh, the Isle of Blood set. Uh, I got more clan rats from eBay from the Isle of Blood set. Um, the two special weapons things, the gobbler. Like warp goblin thrower, whatever globe throwers, and the warp fire cannon or thingy, or whatever, whatchamacallit. Or and I can't remember all the names of this stuff. Just so, so much uh, information overload with me right now because I'm learning all this stuff. The warlord and the warlock, and they're, they're in here somewhere. They're <laughs> in this pile here. Um, then we got 25 more clan rat slave, another 25 more clan rat slave from eBay. Uh, another 40 here. I mean, sorry, 20 here. And then I got another 20 from the battalion box, which is under all that stuff. So uh, we're. Uh, I think I have enough uh, for uh, Skaven to run Skaven, which is their troop choices. So I have uh, 80 in the box there, 50 here, so that's uh, 130, uh, 100. 50, 180. I think I might need maybe 40 more. Um, I think. I think that's like the golden general rule or something about skating. Um, then I picked up, uh, I'll be running about, I have enough uh, plague monks. You know, the 40 plague monks uh, to run with a uh, plague furnace. I got one of these. Love these things. These look so cool. Play. You can run this as a plague furnace. Build as a plague furnace or a scream bell. What I want to do is magnetize it so I can run it with you the door. And uh, maybe I should film that too. If anyone's interested in that. Um, playing monks. I got the playing monks from the battalion and I uh, got another box of it. And then uh, the battalion comes with more uh, large rats with their rat herder. You know, I, already, I bought like five of them. Five like Five sets of five rats and um, rat herders, and then I got more from the battalion set. Uh, but you know, when I find a deal, <laughs> I just order this stuff. Not sure what I get until the end. Um, so I would have, I think, pretty much enough to run a big Skaven army. I got two warp uh, cannons here, one's here, and the other one's in a box over there because I was using it as a proxy for a catapult for my battalion. Uh, Got a doom wheel here. I might get another one. I don't know. People are saying they're not good. Some people are saying they're great. So I want to run it and see how it works for me and the group that I play with. Uh, if it works good, I'll go ahead and pick up another one. And then I got an abomination. Again, mixed reviews on this one. Everyone's black. Some people say it's great. A great hammer unit. Some people say they suck. So again, I got to play it to see which one works best. Um, and then a gray seer here. And I believe I get a gray seer on the bell when I run the bell, and a monk, play monk if I run the uh, furnace. So uh, yeah, there you see uh, this. I'm rolling this game, and I just gotta paint them. And that's the thing, gotta paint them. I gotta paint the orange. I gotta paint this. So this is why I don't do commissions. I got enough of my own shit to do. Um, other cool thing is, um, GW has these movement trays. And um, I've been, you know, put, using them, putting them together. And uh, one of the big things about using these is, you know, if it's too big, you know, and then when the, your models die off of it, you lose this big tail. So I've been trying to figure a way to, you know, get, make them collapsible. 
So this is what I've been doing. And this is to uh, field a 40 band unit here, if it was together like this, okay? 40 band unit, what I did is cut these in half. And I, want ma I magnetize everything, so these will be magnetized. So what I came up with were these. Took those two, cut it in half, and made this. These things here, okay? Um, this is a sheet metal, a shingle, like tin shingles that you can get this from any hardware store. And then uh, basically I put it over, you know, the tray. Okay, the, the set of tray here, you can make about, I don't know, eight trays, nine, maybe 10 trays, depending on what you need uh, from the set here. It's 10 bucks, right? The shingles are like, you know, uh, 69 cents a sheet. So just this right here is one sheet. Okay, so we're looking at about maybe three bucks here already. And what I do is I uh, shave it out in certain ways. I should make a video of this. If anyone's interested in making these, well, let me know. I'll go make a video of it. So basically what happens is, you know, it magnetizes so it'll come together like this. Okay, and then when you feel them on you know, the table, and then your uh, unit goes down, all I do is just pull this off. Right? But since it's magnetized, it's really easy to keep it together, you know? Um, so that's really cool. Now I'm gonna try to do this, the same idea, but using uh, them uh, too wide, too wide down. I can't find where those other two pieces went. There they are. Uh, these right here, but I'm afraid that, you know, when as you stack, you know, such small pieces along here, you stack another one, stack another one, it's gonna be really hard to move the back and forth on the table, you know, so you just like stack up or whatever, but if it's magnetized and it's holding hard enough, probably wouldn't have to worry about that right so if you guys are interested in uh, me making a video about how to make these i will go ahead and do it just go ahead and leave a comment and then uh oh yeah the high elf i'll get back to them later right now the bretonians and skavens really uh piqued my interest especially skavens right now it looks so fun to do uh finally um the next army that i'm actually playing and uh, really uh working on is uh war machine and it's basically uh, the Menoth and uh, uh, Syngar and I think Orbrus. Uh Mainly um, Menoth right now is like Kurt made on so I'm going to be working on that. Once that's almost done, we'll go to Syngar. At least, um, at least you know these books, by the way, are great. I mean, they're worth every single penny. The artwork in this is awesome. And, um, I think they're way better than what GW puts out, in my opinion. Other than that, um, I'll get some uh, Malfo stuff up as well because um, I'll we'll start jumping into that as well, uh, as well as Flames of War. So those things are coming. Well, anyways, that's enough rabble. That's enough update, I guess, of what I'm doing. If there's anything you like or see, uh, want to see, uh, you know, painted or tutorials, or you know, if you ask me questions about how to do certain things, I'll make a video of it. I'll just put on the list and stuff. So that's it, guys. Hope to see you guys out there and happy Thanksgiving to everyone. And uh, yeah, that's it. Like if you like, favorite if you love me, and um, I'll see you guys out there. Bye.